Welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. This is the Mountain Zoo located next to the Overlook Hotel. I just love listening to that that ambience from the Ice Age. Yeah. It looked like a girl was saying, Dude, look, it's a thing! But you know, I'm ready to get back to where I was. So, apparently we got uh, 11 animals here. And all I'm hearing is guests barfing. All I hear is uh, Conker the Squirrel giggling. All I know is um, our animal happiness is confirmed. But you know what? We only have at least um, four more species until we get every um, of these, you know, this scenario finished. So we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, to nine, to ten, and eleven. We got. And since um, I could sell off the, one of our Przewalski's wild horses after they're grown up. So let's see. I'll post. I will get ready to. Um... All right. First off, I'm going to add um, orangutan, tiger, uh, lion, orangutan, tiger, lion, and what's next? Uh, hmm. Perhaps uh, a yeti, if I could afford that, but I can't afford a yeti. Or possibly Arabian oryx. We got a bunch of mountains. I could start off with just... You know what? I'll start off with a Siberian tiger since they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah, let's start off with Siberian tiger because they're a lot cheaper than, you know... Uh... All right. They need snow and they need gray stone. And fresh water. Ugh. I need to put this fresh water right here. Alright. Okay, so the terrain is too steep. We need to fix that. Get this terrain all repaired, and we'll add too much gray stone. We need snow. Okay, we need snow. Too much gray stone, more snow. Ugh, looks like we need more snow. All right, um... And this terrain has to be less steep. Well, we got a reward for 500 guests inside our zoo. I'm telling you that... So, I gotta flatten the rest of this terrain, because now... Uh, too steep, alright. Alright, 
Um, well, apparently Siberian tigers like Chinese fire trees, so I think I'll put those in. I would put in pine bushes since they're pretty much cheaper than Chinese fire trees, just because. And all right, more. S all right, more snow. Okay. Okay. Man, no wonder we had to bring down this terrain. It's just... Alright. Okay, and the concrete shelter will be placed here. Just looking forward to seeing my, um... I'm just looking forward to seeing my gorillas giving birth. You know what I mean, right? Jesus Christ, all those guests are going, what, 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 now, um, there was a medium carnivorous rock, but that's only in dinosaur digs, I mean, Siberian tigers are A-OK, -okay. pine bushes are Siberian, so I'm gonna put those in. Okay, um, my 14th, all right, so we have 12, I think my 13th will be orangutans next, just because orangutans are usually, um, gonna be put inside and, you know what I mean? I think I'll put in another restaurant since we know we got, um, yeah, I'm going to put this right here just because, just take a look, those maw cores. Those Makors, I just know what it feels like. Yeah. Alright. So, apparently I'll put in orangutans next, since, you know, we got the, um... We got what it takes for the whole mountain thing. All right. It's gonna take up a bunch of space for the fact that we got a bunch of, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna put in that jungle gym. I mean, it's so big. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll put in the jungle gym I'm pretty sure we'll add the jungle gym. I am interested in the jungle gym just because. You know, I'm looking forward to um, getting the gorilla climbing bars. Just because that gorilla climbing bars mean a lot to those lowland gorillas. I'm looking that a lowland gorilla better get the, um, better get that lovely, um, I mean, I didn't need the elephant. I'm sorry, but uh, feeling crowded, and that's the reason why. I'll increase the suitability by adding some rocks to the gorilla's exhibit. 
Yeah, just because. Alright, so we're in March of year two, and we need to go ahead and wait until... I tell you, these warthogs give birth very quickly, and that's the reason why. As soon as a Japanese Seiro grows up and, you know, we'll just sell it off. Sorry, I mean, African warthogs give birth fast, and that's why they breed so quickly. Alright. A place in orangutan since we got that lovely rain, got those hills. Alright, it's time to put all of this, this brown stone behind. Brown stone behind. Right. Takes a while for me to, um... Alright, so let's see. Yeah, that's why I have to get all this. Alright, more dirt needs to be put away. Trying to find some, yeah, brown stone, okay. So, grass, okay, grass. And durian tree, durian tree. I think I might as well just get away with uh, rainforest fern. I mean, it's just all this rainforest fern is just not. It's just. It's just all this terrain is not going to help for the orangutan. All right, so we need um. I'm going to put in a second orangutan. Alright. Alright, where's all this brown stone? I need to... I need to put all this brown stone behind. It's just... That orangutan is not happy because of his exhibit. I can't believe that orangutans are just snorting. There's that last piece of brown stone. Alright, so... We'll assign, um... Alright. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all right, 13. Let's save up and, um, and make a move on. Having fun with your jungle gym, orangutans? I bet you are. It's, yeah, I'm not going to be... I might be sure I'll get a... I'll be sure I'll get Gorilla Climbing Bars. It's just Gorilla Climbing Bars can be okay so that those lowland gorillas will be happy. And wow, those Siberian tigers breed so fast. That's why they're so popular. 
I think the exhibit is still big enough for those guys. Alright, so... I think... Yeah, I don't feel like placing in Bigfoot. If I try to place in Bigfoot, I'm going to lose all my money. That's the situation that's going to happen, you know, dudes and dudettes. Um. You know what? I'll just... Just because we may as well just get... Um, yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's what I have to do is get more than that. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yes, Barbary Barbary Lion will do. Or Barbary Jackal. I'll put in Barbary Lion because they love mountains. They're pretty cool. Just hoping that these lowland gorillas might breed. It's gonna take a long time. I don't know. All right, so let's see. Aha, so we can get going with that lovely, lovely lion climbing rock. All right, I got to do something. So I have a lion climbing rock. All right. All right, so gravel and fresh water. First, I'll do gravel. Second, I'll do fresh water. And they need grass. They need grass. And snow. Snow, for that matter. Gray stone. Carnivorous deciduous. All right. They need all kinds of terrain. Oops, I don't want to do that. I don't want to bring too much for the orangutans. All right, so lion climbing rock. All right, lion climbing rock. All right, too much gray stone, not enough deciduous floor. Wow, they need savanna. If I go in debt, this is not going to be cool. Yeah. Alright, needs more foliage. So I'll start off with a white olive tree. White olive tree. Yeah. 
run out of money and all right okay I think I'll sell off that American bighorn sheep and the Sayro since well they're grown up I'm gonna put them all away yeah, I decide I'm going to have to sell off the babies. It's just, I can't do that. I am so not going to do that. Yo, these thornless mesquit trees. Those thornless mesquit trees are underused. They're like underrated for the fact they're in the deciduous in South America. Not enough sand. All right, sand. All right, deciduous. Yeah, just because the um, just because that for the fact they like they're like they remind me of mountain lions. They're like mountain lions, but mostly more than just mountain lions. From deciduous North Africa, located in uh, Algeria and Morocco. Libya and Alexandria of Egypt. Okay, swinging log toy. All right, I need the large. I need the large chimpanzee bars. So I need the large chimpanzee bars. Six months left until this scenario is finished. Okay. Man, wonder if fences are falling apart. We need maintenance workers. Whoa, we need maintenance workers. I need maintenance workers now. Because my fences are deteriorating. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to put in a Yeti. It's just I'm not going to be able to do that, but I'll see what the deal is. It's just Yetis are like $10,000. And I'm not going to do that much. I might, I might put in a prairie dog cafe. I might put in a prairie dog cafe next to the... Um, I gotta level this terrain so then I can um all right um let's see so let's see Ugh. wait I thought we added a gift shop do we add it a gift shop there's no gift shop shoot there's no gift shop Oh man, we don't have a gift shop. Do we have a gift shop? Oh no, we forgot the gift shop. We were supposed to... Oh god dang, we needed a gift shop inside. And now we didn't get what we're supposed to get. Alright, I think we'll put in the gift shop. Let me see. That gift shop, we should have put that in. Alright, gift shop. Yeah, we should have put in a gift shop earlier. But now we didn't. It was supposed to be a gift shop inside the zoo, but we didn't 
get one. Yeah, I'm gonna save up, save up the scenario. African warthog has caught an illness from. Oh, dang it! Wonder we can't get that much for real deal. All right, I gotta get this. Look, all right, just because, just because that you think it's going to be a long path for all you maintenance workers around here, just you go ahead and, you know, yeah, I need another maintenance worker. We got to fix all these fences. And I'm hoping that that least lowland gorillas give birth. All right, I think we'll get close to the gorilla climbing bars pretty soon. You know something? Next time, when I play the Tropical Rainforest Zoo, I think of putting in a Japanese garden next to the gorilla's exhibit. Because you see that lowland gorilla? He's dancing. He's dancing. Look at him. I like the way gorillas dance. I just love how lowland gorillas dance. You're such a dancing dude, are you? Alright, so we're gonna get the gorilla climbing bars. Alright, um. Yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna put in this prairie dog cafe. Oops. Okay. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to put in the Prairie Dog Cafe. It's because... All right. So, let's see. Our latest we're going to put in is the Yeti. Because... We're going to get ready and move into position. We are so close to getting everything we need. We're going to get the gorilla climbing bars, and I'm going to place in the Yeti next. This will be cool, isn't it? If I can't get the Yeti, because I don't have that much cash, maybe I can put in just, um, um, what am I put in? A mountain lion. Maybe I'll put in a mountain lion. Mountain lion. I do like the Barbary lion, because I want to put in a special species inside.
I didn't want to speak because you want to know why? Because it just it ruined the uh, sounding of the orangutan climbing right and playing with his jungle gym. I mean, orangutans are monkeys and they love their own jungle gyms. I'll put in a sphinx statue uh, right next to, um, all right, gorilla climbing bars, all right, no cat climbing tree. All right, Sphinx. Place the Sphinxes here. All right, I think I'll put in the Yeti now. Yeah. All right. Exhibit not big enough. Those Yetis like snow, don't they? Jesus Christ, African warthogs get ill so quickly. It's insane. All right, so we need gray stone. Just like saber tooth cats want more gray stone and less snow. All right, so we get Yeah, those yeti, that yeti needs um much more bigger exhibit all right so let's see we got um we'll assign the zookeepers for the grizzly bear the um warthog crocodile llama bear ibex and the yeti okay and save uh, i'm gonna save up yeah, I need a new mouse. This one's acting freaking weird. And besides, we don't have a snowy rock cave. That's the reason why that shelters that yetis prefer are usually their favorite. Okay, you know what? I gotta get this. Zookeepers, get your asses inside and help these warthogs. That means you. Get inside there. Hurry up. Good, Zookeeper. Good. Still, the exhibit's still not big enough. Yeah, that's why Yetis prefer more larger exhibit because, well, because they're so epic looking. Yeah, they're the most epic ever, and um, we just got the 15 different animal species confirmed. Yes, sir. I gotta get that zookeeper in and get those to feed the crocodiles. And how come that Yeti is... How come you're feeling crowded with too many guests? I just... I don't understand. It's just... For the fact that a Yeti like you is just... A Yeti. You're just a Yeti and... You're in an exhibit full of incredible awesomeness, and you're looking for me to give you a much more larger exhibit? Okay. All right. All right, I gotta help you. All right, do we have you getting over here and helping the guy? All right, so snow. 
Besides, we get some money back after we helped extended the exhibit for him. He's hungry and can't find any food. Well, that's not my problem. Give that dude some meat for him. All right. And guess what? Got everything we got for everything inside the zoo. That's everything. Man, I just love placing in a bunch of buildings. It's the greatest thing that I've ever done in my life. Yeah, my zoo is running low on money. It's just, it's like totally unbelievable. All right, I think I'll put in more of those rocks. Oh, and by the way, you wanna know a cool secret that I've um, mentioned? Oh yeah, I forgot something. Wow, that Yeti looks like he's picking up all of his meat like crazy and just chowing down on it. Oh yes, um, something very, uh, special. If you, um, name a guest John Wheeler, then, um, this means you get all animal shelters. So you know what? I'm going to put in the um, snowy rock cave as soon as I can find a place to put the, it in because, yeah, those rocks are in the way. I'm just needing to put those in. Okay. Yeah, like that. See, if you name a guest John Wheeler, this means you get all of the shelters. So I get a snowy rock cave. And, um, you know what? I think I'll give the, um, the rock cave to the Siberian tigers. Better make room for them to get inside their shelter. Unless if you think that... Pine bushes are very cool for those Siberian tigers. You better not make Mr. Fortune Cookie cross about not putting in Chinese fair trees for the Siberian tigers just because pine bushes are from Siberia. Yeah, that's what I say for my principles, for everybody's principles, for Mr. Fortune Cookie's principles. And I don't want Mr. Fortune Cookie confronting me for it. All right, so I gave, um, hmm. Hey, what do you know? We can add snowy rocks for the Barbary Lion. I thought, I thought Barbary Lions hated those snowy rocks, but, yeah. More animals the same type. Hey, I'm not an expert, you know, so who cares? I'll put in that rock cave for the polar bear, uh, grizzly bear, excuse me. Just have to, yeah. Why is that Ibix ill? I think because, I think because, Hey, looks like that Yeti wants a mate. 
Looks like that Yeti wants a mate, huh? Yeah. Good thing we had to name a guest John Wheeler, and we could just go ahead and add rock caves for every single animal. Wow! Ain't I just love doing something amazing? Alright, I gotta get... Yeah. Now that's epic. Doing something very incredible. Doing something very incredible inside here. That's the greatest thing a dude has ever done inside a scenario like this. All right, I think I'm gonna put in, I think what's my next scenery that I might put in? I think I'm gonna put another, another lantern. Yeah, how about that, another lantern. Fences are falling apart. I can't believe this is happening. Alright, um, I'll add these here, I acquire something that's very incredible. In case if I'm in debt, it's alright, because for the fact that, um, these guests get out of the way so I can add these, um, here. For Swalski's, oh no. Yeah, one of my horses died of old age. Unbelievably horrifying, it's just not so great. In case, alright. Try to help. All right. All right. Best zoo. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at that. That is superior. I just love this scenario.
and our yetis gave birth. All right, all right. I just love how that happens. Ain't that obviously cool? Yeah. 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 Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I bet it is. Put this in here. What the hell? Guess they're trapped and can't get out? I thought... Ugh. I thought that happened. Ugh. Yeah. No, 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 I don't want to do that. All right, so... What if we add dumpsters? How about dumpsters? Yeah, how about that? And we'll just add another pathway. Yeah, let's just add another pathway. That'd be great. Another pathway. Okay. So everything's bright as it is, like a flower in the wilderness, ready to roll in. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with a rock window fence instead. And then just, um... Yeah, make it all rock fence. Alright. Yeah. I'll take perfectly. And, yep. I wonder how their yetis are doing. Warthogs, more shelters, man. And bighorns, feeling crowded. Yeah. Prefers an exhibit. I think we already have enough hills and cliffs. Well suited. 
These Ibexes are feeling crowded. What about the Seros? They're doing all right. Kiangs, they're sweet. I don't understand this, but should so Japanese Seiro gave birth. Does not like the small snowy rock. Yeah, they don't need snow. I don't understand this. They're just feeling crowded with so many guests. I just can't m imagine why. It's just... Yeah. Alright! Hey, I forgot the Gorilla Climbing Bars! Oh, no! I forgot the Gorilla Climbing Bars! Ah! Dang, I forgot the Gorilla Climbing Bars! I was supposed to put them in! Ah! Sorry, Gorillas! I can't believe that I forgot the Gorilla Climbing Bars! I forgot the Gorilla Climbing Bars! Oh, no! And how are you orangutans doing? You can see orangutans looking wiser than ever. Be happier. I think we're fine with just plenty of foliage. Exhibit's not big enough. Well, yeah. We'll just make a more larger exhibit. That's because. Okay. Um. How about that will be cool for these saltwater crocodiles? Alright, so salt water. Yeah. I'll just sell one of those crocodiles off. Not enough dirt, too much salt water. Whoops. Why are you feeling so crowded? Just because we're just having a low amount of fencing. Yeah. And I should have used the pink fence. Should have. You know what? I'm gonna make it all into a pink plexiglass fence. Like I should have when I started this this scenario and started recording it. I'm just narrating my you know my commentary. Okay. Alright. Um Pink concrete fence is always near. Nearby here. All right. All right. So American Bighorn giving birth. Yeah, no wonder those yetis want the most largest of the large exhibits ever. I'm wasting cash on everything and it's just so insanity. Wow. 
this exhibit is like it's insane it's insane no 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 I don't want to misclicking Don't trample on your rocks, Yetis, or else your or else your feet will get hurt. So hey, Barbary Lion gave birth. Cool. That's so cool. All right, well suited, that's cool. What are those, are those zookeepers slacking off? Ugh. All right, all right zookeeper, get in there. All right. Oh, and if I forgot to tell you, did you know that Revolution 9 by the Beatles, you know, the Beatles, John Lennon and Paul McCarthy, Revolution 9 was a song featured in a video, tennis video from 2009 by Peter Isaac. Peter Isaac, who, yeah, who was, oh yeah, Source Rabbit on Twitter. Source Rabbit on Twitter, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Source Rabbit on Twitter. Six gigabyte buffalo drank red zole and used hardcore to break it. Yeah. I wanted, I've mentioned like I've made that video like three years ago I wanted to make yeah it starts off with a number nine rotating around and a guy playing a piano in reverse and creepy horror film stuff happens and starts off with Lola loud it is scary looking Lola loud and her scary looking face she says you're dealing with a real professional! And a bunch of loud ear rape happens, and, um, ear rape? With a bunch of huge amount of 16-bit mono sound effects. Loudest of them all. I wanted to make the sound effects even more louder. And at the end of the video shows, uh, an old lady the sound effects of an old lady screaming and another granny saying in an angry voice, WAKE UP YOU OLD WHIPPERSNAPPER! Yeah. And it shows a picture of Large Marge making a scary face. Hey, why is it that Barbary Lion just climbing on his rock? Jesus Christ, Mr. Lions. You're just going ahead. You're just going ahead with your little boy. You're just playing around with your little boy. Uh, yeah, you little adorable little boy, huh? See the maintenance worker that's outside of the zoo? She's walking around and, um, keeping an eye out on the fence. Yeti too can't find any food. Then what's taking the zookeeper so long? That zookeeper's just not doing things correctly. Shh. You better get in there. You're assigned to this exhibit, and you're doing what I say.
just because that you yetis have a much more proper and big exhibit doesn't mean that you have to be crowded with so many guests. There's an animatronic theater and a prairie dog cafe next to your exhibits. And what? Complaining that you have too many guests around you? And now the bear is feeling crowded. That wild horse is not having any problems with being crowded by a bunch of guests. And look, a witch! <laughs> but the unfortunate thing is, to make things worse, is Source Rabbit, aka Pidox, on YouTube, formerly Pidox, now Peter Isaac, he quitted making videos in 2013. He said to me that he was so stern to me because of my self-promoting content on Twitter that he blocked me all because I've self-promoted everything on Twitter. Starting with early RuneScape 2 beta videos from Classic to RuneScape 2 in 2004, he blocked me after he got so cross with me about all the content that I've made, starting off with the uh, teenage furry couple, San Renard and Ali, yeah. And pug dogs singing, I love pugs, I love pugs, they're so cute. And look at them. Barbary lions having fun with their children. And why ain't they just going ahead and playing on their lion climbing rock? Look, just because that you animals are hungry, you can't find any food, doesn't mean that you're just not looking for everything. Poor little Barbary boy, what's the matter? Are you crying because you're... You're just feeling... Not feeling comfortable about how your daddy's just... Moving around the lion climbing rock? Get... Get over here and heal that lion, will ya? Fine. Do it your own way. You're just not helping. Yeah. Do what I say, Zookeeper. That's your job. I'm sorry for being bossy, but yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm trying to keep this animal happiness to 90. No, that yeti is ill. Why is that poor yeti ill? I think because he just starts playing around in his exhibit and then he just... And he just came tumbling down and banged his head on the uh, pink wall fence. I don't know what that Yeti was doing, but these Yetis are so, so crazy. Yeti, my Yeti, Eddie man? Are you going my Hetty, Betty? Betty the Yeti? You're Betty the Yeti. I'll just name you Betty, because your name is Betty the Yeti. Aurora! Oh, roar, roar. Yeah. And guess what? Getting a bunch of cash ready. Superior as usual, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sorry, gorillas, for taking so long to add the gorilla climbing bars to your exhibit. I was just chattering about my commentary about what I said about the news, and it's just... I'm sorry. I promise not to go ahead and ignore your attention, because you lowland gorillas deserve your own climbing bars. Oh, man. Poor little horsies. What you horsies, Wookie? You horsies need a healing. Right, one more month. I guess you didn't want to go on your climbing rock. Not interested? Just because that you're lions doesn't mean that you go ahead and have problems climbing on your own having fun with your toys. No problem with that. All right. How are you tigers doing? There's too much poo in this exhibit. Well, how much pooing you doing? And we need another Rocky Kerr. Hey, hot. We need another Rock Cave. Mr. Fortune Cookie, I hope that you don't go ahead and just watch me planting those Chinese fair trees inside the Siberian Tiger exhibit. Just because that large amount of foliage is needed doesn't mean that the Markor is unhappy, okay? You need more foliage so that you can get your suitability up high so you can be happy. All right, I'm going to save this because and this because I wonder that grizzly bear is ill all because of those mountains. All because of those mountains. We're in a mountain zoo, and that grizzly bear is allergic to mountains. I think I'll put in the holiday tree pretty soon for the guests. But I have to remove those, those rainforest vases. You know what I mean, right? Oh, 
Okay, I gotta go do this quickly, as fast as I can. Holiday tree. Putting in those holiday trees. Confirmed. Alright. Cool. Super cool. Yeah. I'll put in some snowman too. Lovely, huh? Yeah, snowman. Snowman. Frosty the snowman is a very happy soul. Get it? You ever watched Frosty's snowman before? Dudes? Yeah. Okay, I think there's no more room to uh, put in these, um, we may as well have to remove something. Very well then. Okay, so I got what I got. Yes sir, got what I got. I am so loving this. <sighs> have thoughts about my holiday tree and snowman. Yeah. Hey, there's the gorilla. Hey there. You're a king of the world with your gorilla climbing bars. And we did it, guys. We have just finished the mountain zoo. Yes, sire. Great job. Tourists are flocking their way to your zoo year-round. Families will now have a great alternative to skiing on their vacations. Even in the Overlook Hotel, too. The Overlook Hotel. And we just get ready for the tropical rainforest. Next time I'm going to research a lowland gorilla, I'm going to put a Japanese garden next to their exhibit. All right. So great and lovely, gentlemen. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video of Zoo Tycoon. This is Ron Livingstone, and take care, everyone.